Alrighty, we might as well get to show them the road because we've got a bit of a preview to start with first. We're going to take a look at the airports DLC first. Um, because they're saying to release content on that and where it might go with this, this upcoming city and new city. But in the meantime, we'll just get on the brand new bus I've just done. And we'll let that drive around as it becomes sunrise in the area. Well, that was five-eighths of interesting that was. What was that about? Ah, oh, yeah, roundabout. I know why, because I've done that as a high priority roundabout. on and we'll just drive a bus for a minute and Alright, so I hope everyone's doing well this evening. It's going up to 7 o'clock New Zealand time. And of course, welcome to City Skylines. I decided to set on this today because I wanted to do... He just ignored a railway crossing. Should I be worried? Should I be worried? But yeah, we are going to look at big industry today. I decided to sit on this because, um, yeah, reasons. <laughs> also trying to get the residential back under control with something else. But we'll do this bus circuit, then we'll jump over to the um, oil and that. Oh, okay. No, that's okay. That's it's fine. It's a reason, as I said last night, maybe a little worried, yeah, about that bus. As, a, as I said, there's a reason why I dropped down the first person level. Yep, so we're maxing out already. So that's automatically telling me to go straight to the standard buses. Um, okay, let me just do this quickly. K. 
Okay, let me just chuck the buses over. So it automatically upgrades the buses. And let's see how we go this time. Dump. And yes, if you're wondering if I do the circuit uh, a route more than once, yes, I do because I just like to keep an eye on. Looks like we've got that back under control. Those are the vent on too today. Grand Library again, so it's going to be busy on the lines. If it could just stop raining, that'd be nice. So we'll do this circuit. I'm going to do the 2... 10 or 211. Because I need to check out a bus station. And then we'll get going with the industry. Because I had to replace a bus station um, after stream yesterday. Because one of them... The other ones wasn't working properly. The 210 kept getting dropped. Which was... Um, oh, that's a lot of bikes. Bloody hell, that was fast. I'm just going to see if that's all caught back up again. Looks like this is going to be fine. Technically, for anything above 50 kilometers an hour, that cycle lane should be grade separated. So, to do grade sep... Oh, we've got two buses running into each other. So, we're not going to have problems there. So, by grade separated, there's two ways that could be done. Thirty-eight. Seventy-three. Okay, that's getting. There's another bus behind it, which is okay to pick up the overflow. Maxed out. And. A Far out, that was a big maxing out too. Okay. Where's he going to dump them? Okay, just up here. I know, oh, okay. Oh, I know what will be happening is they'll be dispersing. It's interesting that they do that and then rather come over here and dump. Okay. Uh, also another reason why you go back out to third person view. That. Huh. 
How many of these holding? 21. I'm actually going to reco this. So that's not a bloody park there. Guarantee it is, too. Yep. So what we'll do is... I think the best way to do this is... Yeet the park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush. Checking this. That's a big boy. Alright. Is he not decaled? Well, that's a waste of effort if he's not decaled. I got something else I can. of size I can put in there. Actually, let me just alter that around slightly. A blank Rico lot designed for someone else to detail. Now, that's it's no usual problems. 456. Well, I'm going to do that. That's going to completely overwhelm the buses. What I will do is... Do that. Shoot back to the park. Actually, it might as well go straight off. Do that. And then just... Do that. Oh, that's a point and a half. I have not factored. Is there an intersection there? Yeah, there is, but... Ah, I guess what I haven't done. And that's going to cause big problems... I don't think anyone's going to miss that. Shift him over. And... Ah! What I say? No! 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 There we go. Park. Always somewhere else to shove a toilet. Okay. That's going to take a while. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to, rather interestingly, let's do another circuit where I might be putting these on Metro. Which is going to be a bit interesting. Wouldn't be the first time. Oops. 25, 29. Hmm? No. Bedtime. 55 maxing out again. We're maxing out already, so that is a straight out change to line one.
She goes to the double deckers and the bendies. Is there another bus? How many buses are on that line, by the way? Would be a good idea. Yeah, bugger all. Four, by the looks of it. Okay, here we go. Let's take him. Interesting they take the bus rather than bike or jump. Oh, no, there's no train. Might have it a little bit better under control this time. I was going to say, no way he should have maxed out there. The pedanticness we do to make sure something runs right. Forty nine. Speaking of which, thank you. And while I'm also here, Prop Anarchy is technically on. Okay, let's drop back down. Continue the circuit. Sixty-four. Okay, yeah, no, that's definitely enough. I could... No, that took three attempts. That was very unusual. Going to Yoga Garden, that is... Which Yoga Garden? Oh, he's going all the way over there. Okay. Oh, no, don't they look nice? Good luck getting up on that. Oh no, isn't that nice? <laughs> oh, that's... Someone would. Just for the shits and giggles. Get out of the way, car. Yoga Garden. Nice. Okay, well at least that's all running fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we did have another crapshoot to deal with. Has it cleared itself up? Yes, it has. Yay. Now, one more thing we needed to do before finishing out is I need to go and find the 210 or the 211. Nope, that's the 17. 17... 210. Wow, the buses are currently here. Okay. And that'll be the 211. I think the 211 is. No, that's Rickerton bus station, so yeah, he does it. Just gotta make sure I don't catch the wrong one. <laughs> That'd be funny if I did. Yep, they both do it. Okay. Bus time. Let's get on the bus. At modern, uh, what the hell? No. Okay, have we got stuck units again? Should be about right. Hey, give me a minute. Let's just go release these. Yep. 
Yep, there they all go. So had to give them a bit of a bit of persuasion. And he'll just run around the outside. And away we go on the 210, and then we'll check the 211, and then yeah, definitely get over to the um, industry side and that. Right. 210 takes part of the busway, 211 does not. So back down the busway we go. Transport line manager means if there if no passenger needs to be picked up or dropped off for that bus route, the bus or train will skip it. So you don't have to worry about that. And in this case, we'll just drive right through the bus. Because reasons. Oh, one of the, um... I wonder if I can do it. Someone taught me how to use a bus gate earlier today. I use bus lanes and bus ways. And as we can see at the moment, bus rapid transit, that seems to be all interestingly backed up. At least you're not going to have to wait long for a bus. I want to try a bus gate. I'll show you what a bus gate is in a minute. Well, later on. And I just want to see if these work rather than what I would normally do. But that... It would be used on an existing road needing to be flipped to a bus. Rather than me building new. And I'll show you where it could potentially work. If I was to convert the road. And technically, if I didn't have the vanilla plus plus roads, yeah, then the bus gates would have worked because the old NEX NEX two um, busways didn't have any zoning on them. So I would have to do a plain road and um, use TMPE to block out each end. So, I'm just trying to think where would be a good spot to do it. This would actually be one. Okay. This would be ideal for... A bus gate. To stop traffic, rat running, this stretch here, and this stretch here to reach the, here. Because they should be coming down this part, and this part, and if you're brave enough, this part. So, what we will do quickly is just stop the 210. I know where the 210 is. So, first thing we'll do is show what a, um, a bus gate is and why might it work rather than doing an upgrade. So, first of all, we'll have a look at the context of what I usually do thanks to Vanilla Plus Plus. Just trying to think where it is. Yep, here's one here. So, with the old NEX2 roads, you could drop these roads for sure. But they wouldn't allow zoning, which means he couldn't place anything on them. Vanilla Plus does. So this is a straight transit mall. 
right, bus, one-way bus. I think it's one or two I've got. So great for the buses to come in here rather than having to loop when we do bus lanes. So the bus stays off the road. That was one. I did do a second. Where did I do the second? Uh, no, I did three. There's the second one. So rather than having to come all the way around here for no good reason, I can just cut straight in. And did I do a third? Yes, I did do a third one. Um, this case, this is a straight out two-way bus small. So rather than having cars um, rat racing around, instead of forcing them all up the other way, Um, back onto the main roads. This is just a straight out bus wall. And so if I was to drop down. This is what it would look like. So very, very. Peaceful. In fact. Just out of curiosity. convert it to PO because they have a tendency to stick around a lot better So that's why I have this was placed down well ahead of any development that was done. So a bus gate wouldn't be needed because I've just dropped a straight, um, straight bus mall. Just out of curiosity, 80. Shoot, am I going to need to drop another one? Let's check him out. move him to metro let me just take a copy of this just in case it's automatically done it zoink Whoops. It means I don't have to play around with prop anarchy. Yeah, it definitely works. And this is, again, always extremely busy. Cut the other ship. <laughs> also forms as a walkway um, between the mall and the hotel. And... Pass on where they're going. Trolley buses? So, yeah. So, because I have it here already, if I was building new Greenfield, I'd just drop one of these down. And so be it. All done and dusted. Now, in City Skylines, I could. do the exact same. Upgrade. But then again, I destroy a very pretty looking road. Which I actually used, ironically, 
um, to do to connect that wider road up here with here because it wouldn't fit between the buildings. So <laughs> counterintuitive anyway. But yeah, you would destroy a very pretty looking road. So what I'll do is because I'm going to pull something up. Let me just put this on. Pull up this quickly. Go to the tweeters. Okay, so what I'm looking for, uh, here it is. Actually, let me just do it off the other one. I don't want to do it off Tweet Deck uh, because you can see my messages. Notifications. Mentions. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Right. So a bus gate. So let me just. Transition this over. So a bus gate. Rather than me upgrading the entire road, especially if it's a pretty looking road, and also game-wise it would force me to restart, why don't you do a bus gate on an existing road? So that idea was um, touted as a idea for Auckland, but it could also be done in City Skylines. So what we'll do is stay on be right back because somebody's up there shouldn't be, and then we'll do an example of this. Okay. So a bus gate. Bus gate, bus gate, bus gate. Um, first of all, I need to check on what restrictions I've already got in here. None. Okay. Second thing I've got to go and check is what we're using for routings. Okay, 
So what we want to do is take... Okay, so ironically, we're not getting it too directional. That's a long way from... Oh, wow, that's a real long trip. Okay. Yep, that's, um... Okay, where else are we coming from around here? Yeah, so out of, a lot of out-of-town stuff. In reality... take that back off let's take a look at yeah that'd be about right no trucks i don't need to worry about that so i can no trucks so i can take that off that's a bus route yep a lot of cyclists shitload of pedestrians so that is definitely a candidate to knock cars out Let me just check the zoning next. That's all fine. So yeah, definitely a candidate for a bus gate. All right, let's do a quick bus gate. Yeah, scene. Oh. It's all right, that was me checking the routings. You didn't miss much. Cheers. So definitely a candidate for um, a bus gate. Which we will get to after we check the 210 and at the same time where was that one particularly going Let me go and find it again, because that was... There he is. He's coming all this way to go to a small park. Right. Okay, team. So also following an intercity bus. All the power lines from the hydro dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we getting off here? Wee. Nobody lose your lunch. <laughs> These guys travel at breaknaking speeds. They usually cause the bus to tip over. No, oh, I must make sure I have a whole mod where these were rendered. I don't know what he was overtaking for. He's only going to walk into a set of traffic lights up here. Zoink! Traffic lights. 
Oh, look at that. He gets to use the busway. <laughs> Just cut the bus off. Jeez, these drivers. Everyone, yeah, everyone make a joke about Alexis. Back down the busway. Well, the road with a busway. Oh, we take a ticket tour through the city. Oh, am I on one speed here? Because, by God, that's fast. And he'll do a left turn. And look at that, found another 210. Bingo. So that worked up just brilliantly anyway. Alright, let's carry on. I'll come to the bus gate in the... Um... Oh, no, might as well do it now because we're here. Let me just move him. So a bus gate would work the following way so first of all we disable um, that then we go to uh, yeah damn that residential has been a real pain in the butt recently <sighs> um, prop anarchy on bus only One there. One there. And technically, because of the way that one way goes, also here, and I'm actually going to change that road too. So we'll just come back out. It's only the side that needs to be done. So we're taking out um, trucks and cars the entire length of the road. Okay, so that's that part done. Next part we do is take Anarchy back off. Actually, no, 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 no. I should already have this on. Control V. Yay. Whoa, slow down, game. Slow down. Whoa. Control V again. Is that on a give way, too, by the way? Yes, it is. Control V again. Up we go. Control V. Okay, so that's that done. Take that off. Now, for here, because of
Um. Technically, that is actually a no. Convert to PO. Now that changes slightly. Okay, take that back off. Technically not speed cameras. And if I was to do that. I wonder how accurate I got those. <laughs> I know my line of eyesight. Not bad, actually. Yeah, I know it's not speed cameras, but I don't have CCTV camera signs. Unless I'm going to get them from the workshop. Okay, so that just leaves... No. It's a straight out. Okay. And of course, if I wanted to, these props disappear though, so I don't usually, there's no point in doing them. Is what you could do. If I really wanted to. 
I'm just wondering if these are going to let me to convert to PO. Where did that just go? I hate when that happens. Pain when that happens. We'll try that again. So it's that one. to PO again. Turn this around quickly. So you can do that as well if you really wanted to. Let's grab it. And if I was to take it from the other way. How to do a bus gate. Cheap, effective, and done. Right, let's carry on. I didn't really get cracking with the industry. That's it, it is a very pretty road after all that. the cyclists. Oh, metro train. Excuse me. Does he touch the busway? Yes, he does. I think it's the 211 that doesn't. Or did I make him? I hate when they do that. It's... Yeah, he's gonna go straight in. Good old pastel blue. Back in the metro. Oh, a big dance this is. Oh, that's a lot of buses coming out. Go the Bendies!
Yes, they are working properly this time. Right, he's on his way. 28. Oh, and they can I find a 211. Yes. Oh, that was quick. Let's see him work. Alright, in we go. Again, another scene I can do. This one also seems to promote better flow than the last station, and even the vanilla one as well. So I'll probably use this for my larger bus stations. Except when I've got to do intermodal, or multimodal, which is then I'll use what um, Sunset Harbour gave me, and that's uh, bus metro or bus intercity. He should be... Going that way, okay. Not exactly the route I wanted there. Where are you going? Ah, oh, you're doing the quick bus loop. Up we go on a gradient that's unrealistic. Metro. Yep, everyone lose your lunch. Would you live here? That is the question. Would you live here? I would. Oh, look at that. There they all go. I must say, every city I've created, I would happily advertise to live here. He'll be shooting down the busway. That is a lot of cyclists, and that is equally a lot of passengers. Fender tourism areas to the left, that will always be busy 24-7. Leisure area even more so. Should be spinning back around and heading back up. Right turn here. Does not use the busway. We shouldn't be using the busway. Not today, anyway. Now, I think he's going to swing a right here and backtrack. This is just a small feeder loop to feed back into the major um, transport hub. He'll do a left, a right. I'm not sure why I use these roads instead of the usual Dutch roads. Mm. Oh well.
and back he goes. Uh, what one's that one? Oh, is that the... Whoops. Is that the backup? Yeah, that's the... Ooh, just gotta be careful. Okay, we're maxing out the buses on that. So that's... Wait, are we already on line one? Oh shit, we are too. 75, 80, 70. Oh crap, he's maxing out. Okay, um. Just as well as I check, because this is one of the oldest bus routes, too. Um, crap. Okay, he's maxing out. Okay, so that's... Yeah, 46 so I can take out these ones and just go straight with moment let's see to make sure I've got the right buses in here Switch them up. Seventeen, so yeah, that's already Oh, because I never changed the line config. Yeah, that would be about right. Okay, that should change things up a bit. So what, that was a, a specific line config that I had never changed. Now let's just see what he's up to. Uh, Metro. So the differences between the Metro and the Ultra 
uh, or the X classes. The X classes, it just straight double deckers or bendies. I didn't realize we were going to get that high on the list. Coming to night time again. Out we go. Oop, mind the bus. Good. So those are part of the 4X services. They'll carry straight on. Picking up passenger ahead, passengers ahead, freeing up this one. Go back. Yep, yeah. goes the metro. Evening in the city, quiet on the busway. Shoot, that's a good shot. Hey, don't usually see that empty. Crazy drivers. Yeah, yeah, no worse than Auckland drivers, so. <laughs> oh, hey, get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Nighttime in the big city. Round we go. Back down the busway. I can hear a fire truck. They'll be taking a left here. Yeah, a fire chopper. Not usually a good sign. Right, into which was basically the first area of the city I ever built was this. Into city terminal to the left, passenger commuter to the right. Harris tires. Never knew they existed. Oof, I forget how busy it is and what a shit show this gets into. It's all because these, this is configured for right-hand traffic. So technically the buses would be coming in from the other direction, left and then out. But because this is, I do right-hand traffic, it's counterintuitive. Uh, it's the wrong way around and Paradox never corrected it. Colossal would have never corrected it. So we get this problem where they jam each other up in a loop. Especially if you're running quite a few metro class buses, like these big bendies. He's technically jackknifed, so yep. Yeah, good year tyres. Right, 
ride a bus. Uh huh. Yep, we'll push on. Which one are we going to? Probably the furthest one with the most passengers. Yep, yep. 50. Technically, if you needed to get to Rickerton from here, you should be catching the Metro. But, as always, you don't have all your eggs in one basket, so there's a redundant, a couple of redundancy buses that do it for you. That said, the Metro is in a fixed line. This goes in a few more areas the Metro does not. Whisperer. Right, he should be backtracking the way he came. Ow. And if that was a red light, that bus driver never saw it. Nor did that one. Must be bus drivers don't give a crap day. The Metro, always beautiful to see it, but running above ground. But it is where you get better views than it would underground. As I said last night, I don't know why I did these 12 lane roads. It must have been because I was... Yeah, well, oh well. Oof. Now I'll be going back the way he came. For nine dollars, uh, nine ninety euros, you can get this vehicle to deliver your stuff from Leroy Merlin, whatever that place is. Post truck. Do. Just another day waiting at the traffic lights. Oh, there's all the traffic again. Whoa, that's a lot of passengers getting off. Reason, tourism and leisure area to the left of me operates 24-7. For some reason, I always build cities with absolutely functioning night, e night economies. A.K.A. <laughs> well, at least you're not going to be waiting for a bus. Um, uh, put it this way. My transit system seems to be more utilised or patronised. At 3.30 in the morning on a Wednesday in the tourism and leisure areas. Then Monday at 8am 8, 8 or Friday at 3pm where everyone's either going to work begrudgingly or going home going hip hip hooray. So I don't know whether that's an achievement or I've got a bunch of uh, insomniac night hours. Which is why I run 24 hour buses, 24 hour metro and um, 24 hour slotting bus lanes. Hey, Auckland Transport, take a hint. Yeah, back up the other way. Now this, I'm just going to pause it. This road, and technically the other one we were just on, used to be absolutely crowded as every anything. The tourism area is in here. The only reason why this one backs up is because there's a motorway um, entrance here. And uh, of course the feeder there to that motorway entrance as well. So of course that's going to get busy. But this used to get backed up notorious because this was the only tourism and leisure area in the entire sodding city so of course they were gonna pilot and then went once i built waikato point and downtown and there you as you can see <laughs> downtown's the equivalent of the worst crap shoot under the sun I really need to do something about that. For the most part, the buses aren't really truly backed up. But I am going to probably cut a road. Um, a trolley bus only road to get them out of this intersection. But yeah, I, had, I built that other tourism area and it just seems to have fixed it up.
Yay. And we know where he's going. So that's all fine. That's coping. For now, I am just wondering if I can deal with this absolute and utter... Oh, it's flowing. The point is it moves. See, the buses I made sure had their own bus priority, so they don't get... They don't get stuck. See, they've got their own bus lane, so they're kept away from this general traffic shit show. We're in the city centre, by the way. On the western side. Typically, we're on the other side, at the parliament side. Now, some bright urbanist is going to probably tell me, Ben, why the hell have you got a 12-lane road with cycleways and bus lanes, I might add? Splitting the city centre from the downtown. I don't know, because this time I decided to play with the 12-lane roads. Fish market to the left. And also because the six-lane roads carrying the traffic in and out of the city centre used to back up something notorious. Because this, these 12 laners on the other side of the city also carry the trams. So it was a true multi, it was designed to carry heavy loads in and out of the, your city centre area. Well, around actually, because they form a border. They don't go through. Because that should be technically car free. Which is what we did yesterday on the trams. Wee, that chopper, I love how that chopper on the on the circuit goes down and up again. It's like, whoa, let's just all lose our lunch. It's like, ugh. Here we go, you're going to the city centre bus area, uh, transport interchange. Daytime. No, nope, they're not getting stuck there today. They often do, and it's like, eh. So that's another thing you have to fix up. I should do the line markings for this. tramway above right down the golden mile i should rename that queen street and given that's got light rail on it we're already ahead of new zealand <laughs> gee so that's what i love doing about building these cities everything that should be done irl that never is is just done because you know it's um should be done woohoo disco lights Now we're going to wait for the traffic lights from the other direction. I, I never seem to get a straight green here. Go the disco lights. I hope anyone doesn't feel nauseous. Alright, back down we go. So yeah. Typically, I don't play with the 12-lane roads. I do it about out of one every eight cities. Obviously, this was the eighth one in this series. That said, as I've mentioned many times, I've only built busways twice. This city's the second one. And the seven years I have owned this game. Because I typically don't use, the, use them. Because if I need them, well, shoot. I should be using trams. Fail that metro. Or, and I have done it a few times... Monorail. Yes, I have used monorail. 
Yes, it makes a profit. Yes, I max it out constantly. It's quite funny, actually. They say it would never work. Hmm, that's odd. It's my most profitable transit service that I usually have in the city. Now, if you think it's counterintuitive to have industry so close to the city centre, no, it's not. Look at any city before they deindustrialized in the 1980s and 1990s in the West and Japan. I also did it to give a local supply of goods to the city centre area without having to trek it halfway across the city. Which happens anyway, IRL, so. Oop, trolley bus. Trolley bus. Any more trolley buses? Yay? No? Yay? Must be an ambulance stuck behind me. Through the industry. DHL. Ooh. Right, let's carry on. Heh, <laughs> another little brick road. We're heading over to Waikato, no, Waitakere. Our road.
That is a lot of cyclists. Whoa. Far out. Okay. That is worth attention. That is worth attention. Okay, damn. That's going to force a restart on the game. Because that road's going to need upgrading. Wow, it's also a rush hour too, so that's unusually freakish traffic. I'm just wondering if I'm... Um... Might get a... Th um... Two plus one? A title from here... To here, and make that a straight and right... And that's a dedicated left turn only, and that frees the buses up. We'll see when we come back, but damn, that's a lot of... What's the time? Oh, it's rush hour. It's rush hour in the city. Everyone's going to work. I forgot. Whoops. Rush hour. I've got the real-time mod on. Derp. Ah. Forgot it was... Congratulations, you're going to see rush hour in effect. I might make that a 2 plus 1. And that way the buses are freed up. That's a lot of pedestrians. Wow, wait. That is... Holy shoot. And they're still going. Holy crap! Far out! That is... Well, if we didn't build any industry tonight, this was worth it alone. Look at them! They're all coming from here to work over here. Where are they? Or the downtown. So they are literally walking or cycling from here to the downtown. Yeah, these always jank out. I'm going to have to deal with these because Rico's just um, absolutely poking itself. That is just phenomenally um, nuts. <laughs> and they're still going. Well, who says I don't build walkable cities? That is just...
National Park up there. Well, Scenic Reserve. We'll just take the bus back and go and have a look, because that was... Um, Ah, oh, one of the big... Ah, uh, oh, ice. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's funny. And I'll show you. That is... No wonder why this is absolutely... F flat out. So they are using it as I had anticipated. Let's see if I can... Watch this. Up one set of escalators and down the other. It looks like New Market Station on a good day. Up from Platform 4 to Platform 2 to get to Britomart just that 30 seconds faster. Holy crap. I must really turn that off. Dang. Dang, son. Now, the reason why that is, is this is a major interchange station underground. So. That's four platform. Two up, two down. So, if I was to go here. It serves as an interchange to currently three major routes. Uh, yeah, three major routes. So, you've got this one here which is the which is the old the big one that goes basically up through Rickerton comes down here and out to the airport and back again slow down game okay you've got the blue which basically comes right up the guts of downtown and into here so basically all these lines meet up in the same place Then the black line goes, bends around here, up to Waikato Point, and comes out through here, and then cuts through down the Civic side. Now there is that line, the big one that goes through Papatoe all the way up here, and through here will actually continue on, down to where we're going to build the industry down here. So that will be the big Trans City line. And then we've got the airport line. So this one will be built to service up here and connect with the airport there. That said, depending on how the airport DLC goes, that could be dropped depending on how many platforms I have available. So there's probably a reason why I haven't built it yet. If that is the case... That means I can bring this line over to here. And then these two can go across their own platforms rather than me having to bunch them up and then bunch the trains up to go with them. So yeah, this service, this is one of the big two major interchanges. The second one, of course, being up here. And boy, does that do a trade on its own. So... We've got another event on today. Again, the Grand Library. Far out there doing a lot of expeditions. Ex exhibit. Ex exhibits. Exhibitions. <laughs> Try that again. So yeah, this is a... Ex I'm not surprised about this this would be an extremely extremely busy station So 
So that is... But the old... Up the escalators is down the other side. Haha, <laughs> where have I seen that before? Oh, post shop. What's the post shop they all say? Oh, wow. Yeah, the music suits it too. Look at them. Don't ask why they're carrying chainsaws. They're all on the move. Whoops, I was actually meant to get a photo of that. Damn. Ignore the trees, I need to do an upgrade. What the hell? Police helicopter! Holy shit! Hey, hey! Helicopter, get out of it! Two two fives. And traffic should be saying to calm down now. Yep. Obligatory sky tower shot. Okay, so we've got massive problems up there. That is definitely, so what I am going to definitely have to do is definitely make that 2 plus 1. Because it's also backing up my logistics chain. Music really suits her, they're all moving. Yeah, these guys are just getting in tie. Fact. God, that's just funny watching them. It's still, we're outside of rush hour too. So am I going to have to make this 2 plus 1 all the way up? And I'm even going to probably have to make this 2 plus 1 as well. At least through this part. Although that doesn't seem to jam as often. I don't run it. I don't run blumps. It's moving, they're moving, put it that way. They're not. There they go again. Oh, we've got all these pedestrians as well, which is just creating an absolute 
nightmare scenario for this. So he'll go up. Up and over. He's going to get jammed back down here. Yep, round he goes, and he should have a clear run. Oh, they're making it through well enough. In fact, we've just about cleared the backlog. I uh, see this is proved to be the complete shit show as normal. And he'll come around. Yeah, the buses are making it through. It looks like we've cleared that up. So, wow, wait, that's an all morning show. That one. Yep, down he goes. Just gotta wait for them to clear out. Still got pedestrians pouring out. And into the bus lane, and out he goes. Okay. And we're still... What's the population demographics at? Yeah, this is the problem. We need to... Okay. So that's the... Um, situation we're in. So what we're going to do is, before we go and actually do what we were meant to do today, which we spent a whole good two hours fluffing around at ground level, is we're going to take a look at the dev diary. So as we know, the airport DLC is coming out at the end of the month all things airport so if you haven't caught up we'll do a quick run of this So, and then, and this came out today, so they're doing a four-parter. Hello, my name is Phil, and I run the YouTube channel City Planner Plays. I'm a real-life city planner that loves playing city skylines. Today, I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial on modular airports that are included in the new City Skylines Airports DLC. I'm playing on PC, however, this tutorial is applicable for all players including those on console. The Airports DLC gives you the ability to create expansive airports that are tailored to your city's unique terrain or your own personal style. The airports are completely modular, meaning that no two airport builds will ever be alike. To begin, you'll need to identify the best location in your city for the airport. You'll want to take a look at the terrain to make sure that it's mostly suitable for an airport build. Remember that airports are generally very large, it may be helpful to pull a map of a local airport to get a feel for the scale of an airport, as well as some inspiration for its design. Once you've identified the ideal location for your airport, 
You'll need a painted airport district. Imperial Jedi. <laughs> Unlike other districts in the game, an airport district flattens the terrain that it is painted on. Be sure to begin your district at the terrain height that you want the entire airport to reside at. If you run out of soil while flattening, or have excess soil that you need to get rid of, the DLC adds the ability to purchase or dispose of soil for a fee. Once you have cleaned up your I've got the mod. Does it for me. Airport. Create a roadway connection that you can place your airport terminal on. Now, go to the transport menu, where you'll see a new tab called Airport Area. This tab contains all of the new airport DLC buildings. You will need to decide the style of airport you want to create. Classic, modern, or ultra modern. Ew. The more luxurious the airport you decide to build, the more expensive the airport will be to construct. Once you have identified your airport style, you will be able to construct one of two small terminal options. A single story terminal or a two story terminal. That's EY for story. To construct the single story modern terminal. Placing this building will unlock concourses, control towers, runways and taxiways, aircraft stands, public transportation buildings, and decoration buildings. Bring utilities to the airport and you're ready to start building the airport of your dreams. Now you will construct a concourse for your terminal. The concourse provides you the ability to expand your airport in the future and provides a place to locate control towers and aircraft stands. Next, you'll build a runway within your airport area. This runway must be at least 25 meters long. Once you have a runway, you'll need to connect it to your aircraft stands with taxiways. Taxiways are one-way roads, so you'll need to be strategic with their layout. The runway provides hints on where the taxiways are able to connect. Once the runway has been connected to the aircraft stands, your airport will begin to function. Airports must level up mm -hmm. to unlock a number of buildings, including large terminals, large aircraft stands, unique buildings, concourse hubs, and cargo airports. We'll be covering this in the next video in the series, in which I will explain airport progression. But that's all for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And remember to... So there's your preview of going into the airport DLC. Hmm? Okay. So if you want to know where I am going to plop my one, that will be where the current airport district is. So basically that gets rip, ripped out and it will be replaced by that. And I'm probably going to, because I can, lean down the classic... Lean down the classic route... And so we have definitely got enough for dual runway and cargo at that. The way it's been set up is I can um, even bring the concourse down here if I need to, although the power lines are going to need to be moved. And keep cargo up this end where there is already existing facilities. Uh, existing facility right here. So, um, yeah, we can definitely do it. So this, the most likely we're going to do is passenger will be down that side, and you have one set of runways here, another set of runways here for the cargo, as I said. There's, a distrib there's distribution plants. Um, already set up. Well, at least this industry is working fine.
Yeah, my little farming community. So yeah, at least that will, that's all set up, ready to go. Passenger there, cargo here. Hmm. Where well, he's off to. Oof. Nauseous. Okay, looks like we've got intercities backed up again. Where this time? Okay, it's not affecting the mains yet, but it will be something I need to watch very quickly. I have an idea where it is, and I'm going to probably have to do it very quickly. Not every day we ride heavy rail, mind you. should be him oh he's going to the port this time before we do that let me find out why yet again where this is backed up this time Right, that will clear up momentarily, although that's going to be a pain in the ass to clear up. It's because some of these trains are too long for the terminals, and so you get that from you get that happening. It's like, uh, Ooh, sharp end. And out to the port he goes. Hope nobody gets seasick. Well, train sick.
Hey, and he's at the port. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm seriously going to have to probably look at... Yeah, you can see the regional connections. Is it just... That side backed up? Yeah, it's only one side backed up. big six cars that I'm going to have to probably get rid of. <laughs> Every car that's not on the road is a good